several variants of Bitcoin have emerged, each claiming to offer significant enhancements. If grasping the concept of Bitcoin wasn't difficult enough, it also has two distinct cousins, Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV. Each has its own set of qualities and market capitalization, as well as a different market value. It'd be nice if you could invest in all three, but in all honesty, we don't think we can. However, you can invest in one of them and profit from all of the advantages. But which one should you invest in? Well, you're here to find out. But first, hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Financial and Investment Wisdom, and we're back with another incredible video. Here we talk about the world of cryptocurrency, finance matters, and investments. So please subscribe to the channel and enable alerts to be notified of each new upload. Bitcoin has been one of the strongest competitors in the world of cryptocurrency, and it's no secret that it's still popular among investors today. We don't think this will stop anytime sooner because it evolves more and more every single day. Bitcoin's distant cousins have also been living up to their names and are garnering a lot of attention from business people and investors all over the world. In this video, we will help you differentiate between Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Bitcoin SV to help you decide which to invest in. Ready? Without further ado, let's begin. Bitcoin versus Bitcoin Cash Let's start with the distinction between Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash, often known as BTC and BCH. As you may be aware, Bitcoin was first introduced in January 2009, and while it was hailed as a revolutionary new peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system that would threaten banks and the financial system as we know it, its flaws immediately surfaced. The scalability of Bitcoin was one of the greatest drawbacks. Because block sizes are limited to one megabyte, the Bitcoin blockchain can only handle seven transactions per second. This was a major concern for crypto advocates. How is this coin going to compete with Visa, which can process up to 65,000 transaction messages per second? There was an agreement that some form of change was required in order for Bitcoin to scale and keep up with the expected increase in demand in the coming years. However, there was a considerable dispute on how these enhancements should be implemented, forcing a group of miners and engineers to launch a hard fork in August 2017. Bitcoin Cash, or BCH, was created as a result of this. BCH has a block size of 32 megabytes, which means it can process far more transactions per day, up to 2 million, according to some estimations. Next to BTC, Bitcoin Cash is the second largest fork of the Bitcoin network. Surprisingly, the community had to endure nearly seven years of drama previous to the division before BCH debuted in August 2017. Investor Roger Ver and Bitmain co-founder Jihan Wu are among Bitcoin Cash's ardent supporters. The block size is one of the major distinctions between the spin-off and the main platform. Blocks on the Bitcoin network are 1 megabyte in size, but blocks on the BCH network can be up to 32 meg in size. Payments can also be handled faster, avoiding the frustrating wait times and backlogs that sometimes occur on the Bitcoin network, and they are frequently cheaper. Bitcoin Cash is becoming a more popular payment method among cryptocurrency merchants. However, keep in mind that the Bitcoin Cash versus Bitcoin discussion isn't all rainbows and sunshine. Some people are worried about the security implications of larger block sizes. Critics also point out that BCH has far lower market cap than BTC, implying that the coin has yet to garner widespread adoption in the crypto world. Bitcoin vs. Bitcoin SV Moving on from the Bitcoin Cash vs. Bitcoin discussion, we now have another altcoin to worry about. Bitcoin SV Oh, and in case you're wondering, the SV stands for Satoshi's Vision. The BCH community had to face another fork in 2018 after thriving for a year. The implementation's 32 meg block size was not enough for a portion of the BCH community led by Craig Wright, a very controversial Australian computer scientist who claims to be Satoshi Nakamoto and millionaire Calvin Ayer, 
who recommended raising the size limit to 128 meg instead. Craig Wright's activities pushed his faction to fork BCH and give birth to Bitcoin SV in November 2018, and numerous exchanges delisted BSV in retaliation, partly as a result of Wright's actions online early 2019. If you believe the developer feuds would fade away when BCH split from BTC, you were mistaken. Some of the suggested technological changes from the Bitcoin Cash Network, such as plans to ensure transactions were in a specified order within a block and an aim to enable smart contract capability, were met with skepticism. Another hard split, this time from the BCH blockchain, emerged as a result of this. Bitcoin Cash vs. Bitcoin SV what exactly is Bitcoin SV? Well, it has vowed to strictly follow Satoshi Nakamoto's Bitcoin white paper, which was first released in October 2008. When it comes to Bitcoin versus Bitcoin SV, or BCH versus BSV, the block size, which is purportedly 128 times larger than BTC's measly 1 meg at the beginning, is a critical distinction. Bitcoin SV promises it can replace every payment system in the world with a better user experience, lower merchant costs, and a higher level of security, according to the company. Bitcoin SV, on the other hand, outperforms BTC and BCH in terms of transaction fees because it charges the lowest fee owing to its greater block size. This minimizes the amount of transactions on the mempool improving the throughput of the BSV network. Using its scaling platform, the BSV Scaling Test Network, or STN, for example, the network was able to reach 9,000 transactions per second. STN is a project run by the Bitcoin Association, a dedicated group that promotes BSV adoption. The BSV scaling process is aimed at increasing BSV uptake and usage in businesses. So how much does Bitcoin SV cost in comparison to Bitcoin? There is indeed a significant disparity. At the time of writing on the 14th of January, one BSV currency is valued around $113.94, whereas one BTC is worth $43,063.50, implying that obtaining a single Bitcoin would cost nearly 380 BSV coins. In April 2020, BCH's mining incentives were split for the first time. The event's incentives were reduced from 12.5 BCH per block to 6.25 BCH per block. The halving of Bitcoin Cash uses the same functionality as the parent platform. The Bitcoin SV halving occurred in the same month as the BCH halving. The mining block reward splits are the same for both ranging from 12.5 to 6.25 BSV or BCH each block. Okay, we've made it halfway through our list and we sincerely hope you've enjoyed it so far. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and turn on notifications to be notified of new uploads. What do you think of the items on the list so far? Let us know your opinion in the comments below. Let's move forward with the video. So, what's the verdict? Overall, one has to ask if the engineers who have been coordinating all of these hard forks have considered the likelihood that this will further confuse and complicate the crypto world for average users. Because they all have similar names, it sometimes feels like you need a PhD in cryptography merely to understand the technical intricacies. Bitcoin is by far the most popular cryptocurrency, and it does not appear that BCH or BSV will represent much of a threat to its dominance. It will be interesting to watch whether Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV can coexist successfully in the crypto ecosystem in the future years, or if one or both of them loses traction. The three primary Bitcoin protocol implementations are still thriving and competing for dominance in the crypto sector, but it's no longer a battle. BTC has definitely won the branding and pricing contests, as it's worth 70 times more than the other two chains combined but there is plenty of room in the burgeoning digital asset sector for more payment-focused cryptocurrencies like its rivaling brothers. We differentiated Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Bitcoin SV from each other. We also gave you the sweet advantages of all of them so that you would know which one to invest in. So, what do you think? 
Which one caught your investing eye the most? Let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear it. That concludes today's video. Please subscribe to the channel and enable alerts to be notified of new uploads. This is Financial and Investment Wisdom, and we'll see you in our next video.